were talking in the commercial break and you asked me the first incarnation of this show was supposed to be produced by Harvey Weinstein. Yes. And I wondered about you, because you know, here we are, our names now linked to the stain of what these people are accused of. Were you worried or are you worried that forever it'll be Gretchen Carlson and dot, 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 Roger Ailes. Well, you know, it's not like on my resume, I one day envisioned that I would be one of the poster children of sexual harassment in the workplace. But there's one constant thing about my life is that I'm a hard worker and I still have a fire in my belly to, to do good work. And that's why I've been doing so much work to help other women. Yeah. That's become you know, my cause as well as being back on television and being a beacon of hope for all these women who never go back to work after yeah. simply having the courage to come. And you've already told me just now about that Washington DC platform that you have and you're going and working with Washington. What do you see as also the next step since you've already told me about the, the Washington angle of it? How do we get a larger community and conversation into that? So it really is all about men and boys. Ah. That's the one thing that I've learned over the last three years. I mean, first of all, we need men, right? Because we need men to hire more women, pay us fairly, promote us, and put us in the boardroom. And that's such a smart point because, you know, I've said to people, I, if it were not for my grandfather and the dad that got me, for me to have Clarence Newton, 31 years in the Army, I wouldn't be the woman that I am. So yes, I adore and love my mom, but we cannot make all men perpetrators no. because they are not. No, no, no. Yeah. Most men want healthy work environments yeah. for women. But it's also about our boys, and I yes. know you have a little guy now, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. I tell people, I want my son to go on and marry a strong person, well, whoever that is, and how he can appreciate that is seeing women like you be brave on the forefront. You know, listen, if all I did was touch the lives of my two children, my daughter and my son, and teach them that courage is contagious, then it was worth uh -huh. it. But to see that transfer to them, especially to my son, uh -huh. so that he will eventually go into the workplace and respect women in the same way that he respects his mom, uh -huh. That's what this is all about. I should actually be spending all of my time speaking to boys. Oh. <laughs> um, because we do a great job of empowering girls yeah. in our society. But really to fix this problem, it's about getting to our boys. And there have been a lot of uh, other documentaries and books on We Cannot Forget Boys. So, yes. and you are not doing that. You're leaving no one behind. Well, congratulations Thank you, on everything. Tammy.